Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Imasha Jaisingha uh, from Faculty of Medicine and Allied Sciences, Rajat University of Sri Lanka. Uh, I will be presenting today our research findings on uh, prevalence of metabolic derangements uh, among pregnant women in Nandrajpur district, Sri Lanka. So metabolic syndrome, which defines obesity-linked uh, metabolic derangements, is found to have a greater impact on pregnancy. Yet there are no any published data uh, on findings of the impact of metabolic syndrome on pregnancy among pregnant women in Sri Lanka. So we explored the metabolic abnormalities of metabolic syndrome among a cohort of pregnant women in Nandrajpur district. Our study was a baseline cross-sectional analysis of a, a large ongoing cohort among pregnant women in Nandrajpur district, which is uh, the Rajarata pregnancy cohort. Uh, we recruited pregnant women with a period of gestation less than 12 weeks and uh, who got registered in field uh, MOH clinics in Anradhapur district during the third quarter of 2019. And we collected data on the anthropometric measurements and blood biochemistry according to the standard protocols. And these collected data were analyzed uh, using the International Diabetes Federation criteria of the metabolic syndrome. Uh, among total of 3,404 pregnant women recruited, there were uh, 2,895 women who are uh, equal to a below less than a period of gestation less than 12 weeks. And their mean age was 28.05 years with a standard deviation of 5.49. And among these 2,895 women, 1,053, uh, that is 38.3% of the sample, were with the waist circumference equal to or more than 80 centimeters. And their B, mean BMI value was 27.4 with a standard deviation of 3.92. And in this sample, there were 61.7%, that is uh, 1,694 women with a waist circumference less than to 80 centimeters and their mean, B, uh, mean BMI value was 20.8 with a standard deviation of 3.39. And in this uh, group with a uh, group of women with high waist circumference, they had a mean values of triglycerides 98.7 with a standard deviation of 42.8 and a high density lipoprotein value of 47.2 with a standard deviation of 11.1 and a fasting blood sugar value of 84.4 with a standard deviation of 15.8 and systolic blood pressure 106 with a standard deviation of 11.5 and diastolic blood pressure value of 67 with a standard standard deviation of 8.28. And in the high base circumference group, in this high uh, women with high base circumference group, there were 17.3%, that is 177 women who were in the pre-obese class uh, and 71.8%, that is uh, 736 women were in obesity class one and class two, according to the Asia Pacific guidelines on uh, body mass index. And women with a waist circumference more than or equal to 80 centimeters had a significant higher body mass index, triglycerides, uh, fasting blood sugar, systolic blood pressure, and diastolic blood pressure, and a low high density lipoprotein compared to women with waist circumference uh, less than 80 centimeters. Among the individual criterion of metabolic syndrome, the commonest one was uh, low uh, high density lipoprotein value with the uh, percentage of 37.5% and followed up by, uh, 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 followed up by uh, uh, high triglyceride value, that is 11.11% and a high fasting blood sugar value, that is 7%. So in conclusion, the, this significant prevalence of anthropometric and metabolic derangements of metabolic syndrome in pregnancy in the rural uh, settings call for a strengthened metabolic assessment of pregnant women under maternal care in Sri Lanka. Thank you.